everyone, it's Rita with Everything Homemade and I'm going to show you how to make a really simple bug repellent. Spring is coming and therefore the bugs are also coming too. This is really, really simple and without all the toxins that store-bought mosquito repellent or bug repellent cells. I would also like to mention if you're new to essential oils, definitely check out my video right here. I go through the top 10 essential oils that I always stock. I also go through how to use essential oils and everything you need to know as a beginner for, for using essential oils. So definitely check that out. I would also like to mention that I'm a fiction author, so if you like drama, action, romance, definitely check out my series. All the links are in the description box below. They All books are available on Amazon. Also check them out at the end of this video. I am currently creating a cookbook right now called Everything Stevia. I have been baking with Stevia now, especially after my health journey. If you would like to check out my health journey, check it out right here. Um, this cookbook is going to cover anything that you basically use sugar for in replacement with Stevia. It will be gluten-free, dairy-free, and sugar-free with also using some recipes are converted to also whole wheat, but using a method that is very, very old on how to pre-digest that wheat first. So you're going to have two different methods for a recipe, such as making muffins, you'll have a whole wheat version and a gluten-free version. And I I'm really excited to get this cookbook out. It will cover pies and muffins and cookies and cakes and squares and bars and a whole bunch of desserts, basically anything where you're going to be using sugar. I am replacing it with stevia and showing you how to do that. The other thing is, is that there will be a garden section in front of this cookbook where I will show you actually on how to grow the stevia plant and how to harvest it and how to store it and of course how to make your own stevia stevia extract. It is going to be a jam-packed filled cookbook with tons of delicious recipes. So take a look at some of the goodies that I have already made. You can follow me on Instagram at everythingstevia77. You can also follow me on Facebook everything stevia or handle tag everything stevia 77 and you'll keep up to date on exactly what i am making as i post daily or every second day pictures on what is going into that cookbook you can also definitely just stay here on youtube you can follow me here um, as i will make a huge announcement when it's out so now it's time to make the bug repellent so the bug repellent recipe that I have is so super simple. So first of all, I have a container here and this container is just a little bit, it's just a spray container, just like that, simple like that. I actually get these from my eye doctor because they always give free samples and half my family has glasses on and so I end up collecting a whole bunch of these. So I use, I save them and reuse them. So, so you can also buy, you know, little spray bottles from the dollar store. You can find them free when people want to give them away and you can just collect them from other things that, that you buy. Just make sure they're cleaned out and, and there's no residue of whatever it was previously in there. This is actually a one ounce bottle and it is a smaller bottle but I love it because I can just like stick it in my purse. Um, I can take it with me, you know, in my backpack or whatever and a, it, goes it goes quite a long ways and that way it's just really easy to tag along with me wherever I go, especially in the summer. I have bad varicose veins, so my veins and one leg kind of bulge out, so the mosquitoes absolutely love me, and I do tons of gardening, so this here stays with me a lot. So the, so what we're going to use is we're going to use lavender. Now, I have tried peppermint oil. There's recipes for, you know, add in lemongrass or lemon balm, or, um, chamomile, lots of these other, other essential oils, but for me personally, over the years, lavender is my number one choice for mosquito repellent. 
I put this on and they literally fly to where they want to suck my veins, suck the blood out of my veins because again they're close to the surface and they turn their noses and fly away. So if I put this on and it's really really bad, let's say it's a really bad um, in the evening when the mosquitoes are out, um, you know I'll have about 30 minutes after application, after that I will reapply it again, especially in areas that I don't have really good coverage. I also use common sense. I, you know, wear a lighter pair of pants or a windbreaker or something, a lighter jacket where I'm trying to cover up, you know, areas where I don't want to get bit by mosquitoes but sometimes you can't help it. Your hands are exposed, your face is exposed, your neck is exposed, your ankles are, depends if you're wearing sandals. So I definitely put this on and it greatly helps. Definitely. So lavender I find, instead of mixing a whole bunch, I find lavender just to be plainly effective by itself. Um, peppermint would be my next one down and then your lemon, lemon oil, lemon balm, lemon grass would follow after that. But lavender is amazing and it's so easy. So we got one, one ounce bottle here. I'm going to fill this bottle three quarters full of olive oil. Now you can use hemp oil. Do not use coconut oil because coconut oil will go solid in here then you can't spray. You can use sweet almond oil. You can use jojoba oil. So any kind of oil that is, it doesn't go, um, that doesn't solidify at room temperature, you can definitely use. I wouldn't recommend canola oil, but if that's all you have, use it just because canola oil isn't that great for your skin um, and isn't that great overall. But if that's all you got, use it. But I would definitely recommend, you know, like the olive oil or the sweet olive oil where it has um, good properties for the skin in the first place. So it's really simple. We'll fill this up three quarters full and then we're going to add in the lavender essential oil. So I'm just going to grab my olive oil um, container here. I just keep refilling this as we buy like huge amounts of olive oil in, bigger con in a bigger container. So I'm just going to use a funnel here. And just a word on olive oil, you really want a good source of olive oil because this olive oils in the grocery store are cut with canola oil. Um, so you really want to look for a good source. I will put where I get my olive oil from and uh, it's amazing, the the taste is totally different. It's kind of got a peppery kind of a taste when it's a really good quality olive oil. And uh, it's absolutely delicious. So just a word of caution there, if you want to Google that about them cutting um, olive oil with canola oil, you can definitely look it up, look it up. Okay, so there you go. That's about three quarters full. And I just have a plate here just, just so it's less messy. I'm just gonna wipe the side here as I got a little bit on the side. Okay, so the other so now I am going to put in 50 drops of lavender essential oil. So there you have it, 50 drops are in. Now you'll notice that I have some painter's tape on here, that's just so we have a large family can recognize which essential oil is in use. Um, so now we're just going to put the lid on my spray bottle, make sure it's on tight, no leakage, give it a nice little shake, and there you got it, bug repellent all done. Definitely you can do this on a bigger portion, so I'm doing one ounce to 50 drops, one ounce of oil to 50 drops of essential oil. So there you go, and it's ready to go. And so all you wanna do when you apply it, I'm just gonna apply it on my hands here and my, and, and my, and my arm. Now, whenever you're first beginning out with essential oils, do an essential oil test. So right here on your arm is a lot more sensitive than right here. Okay, so what you want to do is just take it, spray a little bit on, rub it in, and wait 
you know, 10, 15 minutes, do I react to it? Is there any kind of reaction? If not, you're good to go. You do not want to spray this on your eyes or in your ears or up your nose or anything, anywhere where you've got really sensitive membranes. If you want to put it on your face, spray it on your hand first, rub it into your hand and then take it and put it on your face like that and go over it. I do that a lot. So definitely you can do that around your neck. You know, the, you don't want oil all over your clothes. A lot of times I spray it on my hands. I get a little bit on your hands and then really move it in and then put it on my arms, put it on my legs. You can spray it on as well. And, uh, but you don't want to spray this on your clothing because this is oil. You can, you can wreck your clothes. It, some oils don't wash out real well. So, you just got to use a little bit of common sense with this, but it's really easy to apply and mosquitoes hate it. So it's a win-win there. Thank you so much for watching you guys. This bug repellent will really help your family to enjoy this summer even more. So thanks so much for watching and we'll see you on the next video.